Okay, y'all, testing out this Dargon Zero water filter. Ooh. Okay, so that is the regular tap water sitting at 113. This is the shower water, which I'm disappointed in only sitting at 110, considering that it has a filter on it. Now, according to this, uh, it's still within most state levels. Yeah, I'm in the state of North Carolina, so I fall within the typical contaminant range for, you know, my state. And these are exceptionally high ones. But now we're going to see what is it like when it goes through this. Hey, two minutes later, and it's taking its sweet time getting this water filtered, so... I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Okay, y'all are seeing it drain out more. I guess it's really making sure that it gets to zero. Because it took a good solid, what, five minutes just to get that much water in there? So, yeah, that can be a hassle. Oh, wait a minute. It's still some water left. But y'all are literally seeing the water go through the filter before y'all eyes and get down to here, right? Okay, let's see if I have enough to pour out for a sample. I just want the sample if it, if it really got the zero or not. It definitely looks clearer. Okay, that's more than enough to sample. Okay, y'all seen that the last result was right at uh, one, right? So let's see what this one's at. Okay, y'all. It's actually at zero. It's at zero. And for comparison purposes, I'm going to actually show y'all filling this empty one up into my um, sink. Yeah, y'all can tell I'm black. We, we reused the blue bonnet over here, y'all. Y'all know how black families do. And, of course, I'm having water problems. It's running slow. But, yeah, this is what I just got out the sink. And this is what just got filtered. So, this is zero. Which it says meets FDA um, definition of, of purified bottled water, no known municipalities. Versus this, it jumps to 110 parts, no, 112 parts per million, which for my state is within the normal range, but still not overall acceptable to be going into your body. So, y'all seen it here first. Now, the only con to this is it's going to take its sweet time to process all this water through this filter. But, as y'all can tell, it literally does work. Like, once again, to do the test before y'all... What's that? 118 parts. Go to this one. Literally zero. No editing or nothing. Y'all can tell I'm in my little old humble apartment. So it ain't no darn on, you know, editing over here going on to deceive. I'm not endorsed by zero water. But I am very health conscious because, honey, these darn on water bottles over here been adding up. Matter of fact, that's what I would do in part two. I'm actually going to um, compare this zero water filter to the water bottles that I get from the store. But just for this right now, just comparing it to the tap water and comparing it to my shower water. Uh, my shower water was at, what, 110. The darn on sink was at 120. And the zero water is true to advertisement. It takes a minute to go through this filter, but it literally puts your water at zero. So um, this one cost me $20.
it does come with a set of coupons for two dollars and fifty cents off if you decide to get another one they do have a 12 cup one for like 40 bucks and then I think they got one for like fifteen dollars for like a 20 cup one if you want it but yeah those are the prices um, got mines at Walmart like I said this holds seven cups um, and it costs $20. Um, so that is it, y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe.